Hi, this is part two of recording website positions in Google. Um, this is a more advanced stage. If you're, for example, I'm in the UK, so I'm redirected to Google UK. If I wanted to find out what my website position was showing in Google.com, which is the US, what I would do is go to the dress bar here and search Google dot com forward slash n c r and now you see so you don't see the UK there so now I'm on Google dot com and when I search for something I'm going to get a non localized result from Google. So let's just search for example I just scroll down that I'm getting results for there, there's not really many UK companies coming up here now usually when I search for that I get I get a completely different result but this applies for for everything like if you're if you're in Canada and you're automatically directed to google.com forward slash CA you can use the same from any country let me show you another example I'm in the UK so I want to find results where my website showing in Australia google.com.au forward slash ncr and now I'm on Google Australia and when I search for anything in here I'll get Australian results what they get in their local region. So let me just do an example. And you'll see different results showing up here. See there's websites dot com dot eu sites coming up. So you're getting totally different results all the time. So it's a good way to find out where your website's showing all over the world and if you want to rank for internet marketing for example in the US and you search for that on the on dot com Google and your website's not showing then there you, you need to focus on trying to rank higher in that in that Google as well as just in the UK. So that's how to find non localized results. Thanks for watching.